straight into it. <clears throat> in Proverbs 18, it says that he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. And there is no doubt in my mind that I've found what is good and that God has shown me favor by giving me you. At 14 years old, I fell in love with the goofy and sweet boy who sat across from me at the lunch table. Since then, I have fallen in love over and over again with the strong, handsome, and godly man who stands in front of me today. We're finally here. I know for you two, it seems like it's taken forever. Uh, this moment that has been six years in the making for all of us who have had visibility. But the awesome thing is, is that this moment has always been in the heart and the mind of God. Caleb, I'm torn. I have to give up my daughter. I have to relinquish that to you. But I want you to truly understand the qualities that Paul mentions there, I see in you. Because of your love, I can rest assured and I can feel comfort and, and strength in knowing I don't have to worry because you love, love, love. this moment is the first time I've realized really how fast the last six years have gone by in comparison to our future and the many years we still have to come. I've said it a thousand times before and I'll say it a million times more. There's no one I would rather be standing right here with than you. After six years of growing together, I am so proud that today I become your wife. I am proud of the obstacles we have overcome together and the way that we have grown in commitment to one another and to Christ. Firstly, I promise to love you and to cherish you from this day until our last. I promise to protect and guard your heart, your mind, and your body at whatever cost to myself or anyone else in this room. I promise to never stop reminding you of the reasons I love you and to find each ones each day, find new ones each day. I promise to always cheer for the Saints, unless of course they are playing the Cowboys. <laughs> I promise to stay silly with you and to never stop trying to make you laugh. I promise to pursue you like I did as a cheesy 16 year old and to always keep the cupcake phase going strong. I promise to stay faithful and true to you until the day I die and after. I promise to be present in all the little moments of our life to you. I promise to lead you, and I promise to let God be the rock that we build our home and family upon for the years to come. I promise to trust and value your opinions even when we don't share them. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader and help inspire the desires of your heart. I promise to pray with you, to dream with you, and to build a family with you. I promise to love, respect, honor, and cherish you and give you the best of myself because I know that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Now for the part you've been waiting for. <laughs> By the authority vested in us, us. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Caleb, you may kiss. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wasn't this... Uh... What are we going to do we our were, duet? I think we were going to do a duet right All now. All right. Yeah. And a two hmm. and a three. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Kiss Caleb, you may kiss your bride. Go for it. As we, uh, as we move across this time together, I just want to reiterate, you both have been prayed for before you were ever born. You were prayed for. You were prayed for. And I stated just a little while ago 
that in God's heart, his mind, he knew this day would come. So today, we get to experience this blessing all together. We love you, we celebrate with you, and we're grateful for both of you. without doubt, I'll keep choosing you. I love you. Over six years, you've been a lot of things. You've been my girl, you've been my sweetheart, my love, my best friend, and my Lex. But now above all these things, you're my wife. I'm all yours, you're all mine. Thank you for choosing me. I love you more.